Well, you know you should eat plenty of fresh fruits and veggies, but what about the meat? Is red meat good for you, or should you give it up entirely? 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz with the expert's advice in these confusing times for carnivores. Chef Brian serves up sizzling steaks and pork chops. I like meat because it's delicious and I don't eat it every day, but I like to have it as part of my diet. He's right to think about how much meat he eats. A new study from Northwestern Medicine and Cornell University found that people who eat red and processed meat have a small but significant increase in the risk of heart disease and death from any cause. Worried you can't give up red meat cold turkey? Nutrition experts say the key is moderation. You don't need to give up meat to have a healthy diet. It delivers a lot of important nutrients and it's a concentrated source of protein. However, most people do need to cut back. You should have no more than a few three and a half ounce servings of red meat per week. To have a healthy diet and still keep meat on the menu, CR has a few rules. First, let meat play a supporting role on your plate, with veggies, beans, and grains taking center stage. When you eat meat, it should make up no more than a quarter of your plate. Look for less fatty cuts of meat, like beef or pork tenderloin, or petite or top sirloin. Cut off the extra fat or ask the butcher to do it. Consider grass-fed beef. It's typically leaner. And think about how you'll cook it. Roasting, braising, and stewing can be healthy ways to cook meat without having to add extra butter or oil. Grilling is good, but... Charring meat can create compounds that may cause cancer. You should grill meat on a low flame, and if you marinate it beforehand, that can also reduce the formation of those compounds. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.